is up what is good guys girls and everybody else welcome back to the channel welcome back to the house of k it's your boy fuller and we're back with another reaction um i am reacting to marvel's what if this is my what if killmonger rescued tony stark um sounds interesting as hell <laughs> uh killmonger is actually one of the coolest designed characters that i have seen in any show you know he just looked cool and i guess you know um uh, Michael B. Jordan played him well, you know, dude suit the role. He just looked freaking amazing. But yeah. <laughs> um, and the whole like anti-hero aspect of him, the storyline, you know, I liked it. I really did like it a lot. And yeah, you know, I can't wait to see what they do with this. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this. Um, Please do not forget to leave a like if you enjoy this reaction, sub to the channel, and leave a comment down below telling me what you guys thought of this episode. Um, my schedule will be in the link in the description below, and I also post I also pin it to the comments. Um, so yeah, you guys can check that out. Uh, yeah, Lego. The journey has a beginning, but change one step along the way, and you can end up at a very different destination. That is true. That's the whole butterfly effect that goes on with time travel and whatnot. Is it cool if I take a picture with you? Yes. Oh. Oh. But where did Kilmer come from? He just popped out of no way? That was a spectacular entrance, seriously. Oh wait, he was working for the US Army. No, but by me, Lieutenant Kilmonger? What is that, German? A nickname. <laughs> Heroes are not born. They're forged in darkness. Mm. Shaped in battle. Tell him. Does Killmonger become Iron Man? Saved, a hero was lost, and a villain was given a new chance. Oh, Mr. Stark, okay. were you injured in the attack? No, but I did spill my drink, and it was a 26 count, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a war crime. Which is why I'm bringing in Lieutenant Eric Stevens, the Navy SEAL who saved my life, as Stark Industries' new Chief Security Officer. Oh! This must be my promotion. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Industry CEO Obadiah Stane. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I, I brought receipts. Why I brought receipts. Let's go, happy. Dude, he's your side. head of security and you're getting and drunk with them? Oh, wait, you're giving him Obadiah's job? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, Mr. Stark. I think I'm more of a soldier. Which is why it's perfect. You, me. We'll be like Butch and Sundance. They died at the end, Tony. Okay, bad example. Fact remains, <laughs> I need a killer. Figurative one, of course, but hey, a literal one can't hurt either. All in all, I'd say he's done pretty good for a kid from Oakland. I mean, what's your concern, Pepper? I mean, other than the killing. A lot of people come around looking to get their moment in the sun with Tony Stark, and it's my job to sniff out exactly what it is they want with him. And what you smell? Nothing. And that's the problem. And she pops. Easy, killer. I come in peace. What did your old man used to say? Ah, that's right. Peace means having a bigger stick than the other guy. <laughs> hey, play nice. It's a friend. A lot of good it did, dear old dad. What about you? You close with yours? Nah. He died too. Game by. Eh, forget it. What? It's just my doctoral thesis. I developed plans for an automated combat drone. Thought I was going to make human soldiers obsolete. If I could never crack the interface. Because you didn't have me. Search the MIT doctoral thesis database. Project Liberator. You've got an ear for branding, I'll give you that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bold design choice. What? I like anime. <laughs> what? I like anime. the world's most expensive gun <laughs> Oh, great! 
This is because he did not create the first Mark 1, right? He didn't create the Mark 1, so he hasn't yet started doing the, the, the Iron Man suits. So this will be the first one, basically. But it will be automated. Damn, respect. Human pilots mean human error. But with Jarvis at the wheel, the drones can react to stimuli in real time. Power source. Hey. Hey, if we could miniaturize an arc reactor... Well, that's a dumb idea. What we need is vibranium. With the right juice, it can act as a self-sustaining energy source. Yeah, now you're thinking. Too bad Pops used up the last of it during the war. Mm. Not all of it. See some flaw? Obviously. Oh, Absolutely not. I'm sorry, are you allowed to say that to people in my tax bracket? Tony, in case you forgot, Stark Industries is not in the business of fraternizing with black market arms dealers. She's right, Tony, I agree. Wait, what? Listen, things go south, shareholders are going to flip. Unless we secure some kind of diplomatic cover. We send Rhodey. There, he's U.S. Air Force, and he's the company's military liaison. Pardon, China. Not every day the Americans get down in the muck with the likes of me. Can't clean up the world without getting your hands dirty. Oh, that is good. You should stick that on a pillow. This guy. Bro, right, just make yourself, man. Uh, why you gotta be so cocky? Oh, oh, no full play, eh? Just sell, man. Uh, what the hell? It's a waste of time. Hey, Coldplay is the best part of it, man. Where did you find all this? Oh, wait, no. But Ultron is not here. So who is it? Ultron should not be here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> to throw him around just fucking break <laughs> Me to 
this end of one of their spears, if you know what I mean. Sad. Like you said, Wakandans are full of surprises. We're gonna kill them, yeah. Yeah. For I am in Jadaka, son of Prince and Job. What is this foolishness? In Job will say of no children. You are led to believe that. I let us believe that. A long time, bro. You have the eyes of your father. He used to tell me stories about you. About watching the sunset from the top of Mount Bashanga with his brother. I shared the same story with my own son. And do you kill him? I spent my whole life searching for my own. Him alloy. Just like your weapons. Almost indestructible. Oh, please. They're built by Americans. It will not be that easy. The drones operate via a hive metrics, communicating with each other in real time to maximize strategic efficiency. Then how do we cut them off from their network? We let them inside our force shields. The electromagnetic interference will block their satellite uplink. You're suggesting we let the killer robots into the city? That's the only way to disconnect them from the Jarvis AI. Status, gentlemen. We have full systems screen, General. Drones moving into this. Open the shields. No, fam. Wakanda. So the rumors are true. What the hell is going on? Some kind of interference. The drones have all gone dark. Yeah, I see that. You were right. Thank you, nephew. You've made your uncle and father proud. I only wish to serve Wakanda. <laughs> I want a little bit more than that. Tony Stark. He must have built a backup transmitter. No! That man was a villain. Didn't trust anyone. Oh, they're using the 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 horn tactic, the bow and horn tactic from uh, uh, developed by Shakazu. Amazing though. <laughs> Fuck yeah. This is all out war then with the US. Would anybody ever find out that he set all this up? He's gonna meet T'Challa though, right? He's gonna meet T'Challa. Vengeance for my father and for all my brothers and sisters who suffered through oppression while you just sat back and watched. You believe the cure for human suffering is more suffering. The cure is power, and now I have it. Because you stole it. Damn, the black and gold looks dope though. Can be a very volatile force, cousin. It will get the best of you eventually, on your plane or on ours. What? How did you get in here? Yeah. I'm here to help, Miss Potts. I knew it. He killed Tony. And your brother? How did you get this? Mr. Stack was a genius, but he's not the only genius. It appears we have a common enemy. Heroes are never really gone. They live forever. Damn. 
as do the ones they inspire to carry on the fight. Yo, this was hands down the best episode in this series so far, fam. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> this was fucking amazing, yo. God damn, this was... I did not expect to like it as much as I did. Yo, like, I was so stressed. I was so on the edge, like, most of this episode. I did not speak for a lot for for most of the time here. Yeah. Fuck. Yo, Killmonger, he played everybody. Everybody. Well, apart from like um I guess Tony and Charles Ch sister in the end, you know, but you know, that I guess that does not matter anymore cuz you know, that's where the story ends for us anyways. But as far as this story is concerned, he played everybody. And he won. He got what he wanted. Fam. The, the, okay, the question that I'm asking now is... Killmonger wanted... He said he, he wanted revenge for, you know, uh, his oppressors and... Uh, I guess for the people who killed his dad. And he said his dad died in gang violence, right? But... His dad was killed by T'Challa's dad. In the movies, his dad was killed by T'Challa's dad, right? And he found out about that. Because he saw uh, the ship leaving and then he went back upstairs and his dad was dead, right? I, I am pretty sure about that. So how come in this one he thinks his dad uh, died from uh, gang violence? Or maybe that's just a cover, but then it doesn't seem like he's actually... I mean, he wants to take over the throne and whatnot and, uh, you know, um, set up his own, uh, you know, <clears throat> his own things, right? But it doesn't seem like he wants to kill T'Challa's dad. It doesn't seem like he wants to kill his uncle, you know? So I don't really know what's going on there. Anyways, you know, but damn, the story was good. The story was really good. Because it had some of my favorite characters ever. You know? It had Tony. It had T'Challa. It had Killmonger. And it had um, T'Challa. Oh, sorry. T'Challa's sister. Damn, I forgot her name. What's her name? Wait. Um, Siri. See? Shuri. Shuri. Damn. I forgot her name. I had it at the tip of my tongue, but I forgot it. Shuri. Shuri is one of my favorite characters as well. For the same reason that Tony is. You know, they are smart. They are scientists. They are engineers. And I fucking love it. <laughs> Actually, Tony Stark was one of the reasons why I chose to do mechanical engineering in university. You know, that is why I am doing mechanical engineering in university right now. Tony Stark is one of those reasons. Because... I wanted to do mechanical engineering. I wanted to learn about stuff like what Tony does, you know, robotics and nanotech and all that type of stuff. And now Shuri, Shuri just like, you know, um, what do you call it? Reinforces. Yeah, Shuri just reinforces that, uh, um, that <laughs> dream in me, you know? Damn, because both of them are smart. They're smart as hell. Fucking love it, man. Fucking love it. Um, yeah, so there it has those two. It has T'Challa, who is just a dope-ass superhero fan. Like, honestly speaking, he just looks dope. And then there is the cousin. There's Killmonger. His name, his look. Dude is a shape, fam. Dude, who does not like that dude? His story in the movies was just on point. And even in this one, the whole story was just fucking amazing. It was just fucking good. <laughs> so I really, really enjoyed this. I think right now it is, you know, on top. It's at the top. And I think it would take a lot to bring this one to, like, a uh, second or third position, fam. If they're able to do that, I'll give them respect. Because, yo. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, damn. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's all I have for you guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this reaction, please do leave a like, sub to the channel, and leave a comment down below telling me what you guys thought of this episode. Uh, yeah, later.